Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Death and Texas, where we will be continuing on from, I think this is day 16. Uh, I've just started a new day, so we're going to carry on, see where we go. Some saxophone music. So when I ignored the equilibrium, that tree got better. But when I followed his instructions, this got worse. Okay. All humans in the bottom have to die. Keep away the chaos, will you? Um, uh, all humans in the bottom row have to die. So what happens if you... I'm just going to say, you die. Hang on, actually, you're a biochemist. You can live. Uh, what are you? You're a banker. Um... Bart is a wealthy banker married with two kids. They had an affair with the brother of their spouse, but the partner found out. Took off the kids. The brother committed suicide, and Bart and Sorrow moved into a huge countryside mansion where they wait alone to meet the lover again. Okay. Ladies work to the Prime Minister's personal helicopter pilot. They love flying so much to fly around all day when their employer doesn't need to go anywhere. All the money for fuel is taken from taxpayer funds. <laughs> Sommelier. Identify every wine profile. Prolific. They also like doing taste exercises with the children using various craft sodas. They do not, however, endorse alcohol abuse. Well, you can have... Christopher opened a waffle house in the middle of the Cacti Valley to have claim reason and uh, legal income, but avoid customers. Him to cook with 10 year old ingredients. <laughs> He's a money launderer. No. He goes. Economic consultant. Anderson saved countless businesses from going completely bankrupt, yet the only business they can't seem to save at all for some unfathomable reason is their spouse's DVD CD rental shop, which steers into failure at all times. Uh, like this. Used to have, oh, I still have unmarked profiles. Okay. Uh, you? You. Takahiro loves hitting a tiny ball with a stick. There's no doubt about it. Just whack that tiny ball real hard and see where it lands. Sometimes it even lands where it's supposed to, oftentimes not. Doesn't matter if she loves. He, she, it loves. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You can live. I don't mind. But I am going to draw a madass tash on you. Or a madass mouth. I, I was trying to go for a tash here, people. Never mind. So three people on the bottom row, three people have died. I mean... What says about this? Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They... vex me. It's not surprising. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems... unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Yes, they should all go. Yes. But can we truly foretell what it would mean? Couldn't humans achieve immortality somehow? To put us right out of business, and you out of existence? Would you really trade yourself for them? What a time it would be for us all. A I didn't say time. I'd do that. Ah, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts on loyalty. I am all ears, Grim. Uh, I... Don't you think this flows to our way? Such is the nature of loyalty. Or is demanding it to give it back. Grand. A reaper demanding its due. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <laughs> live. See what I... <laughs> Where is your st Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. I didn't even get my day of review. Oh, right. It seems you marked the proper amount. Now depart. So it was just about hitting the right number. To contemplate. What's he going to do? Who knows? Ye drive a hard bargain, matey. But Mortimer does love a good scuffle. 
Can't get anything. Oh no. <sighs> The rules. Another red one. Hmm. Life should not be too predictable, don't you, D? Have a little bit of alteration and alternation every so often. And I have just a thing for it. Every other profile has to die. For now, must now return to my research. Fate's going a little bit bonkers, and ooh, this has changed. See what I mean? I still don't know what the globe is about. Someone tell me what the globe is about. System. For decades, Marl has driven Grim right. You need to keep your eyes open. Listen, think. If you notice what's going on, do your choices make sense? Do any... Does any of this make sense? Don't you see what they're hiding? You ought to mark this person for death today. All right. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just four people need to be marked for death. They lack knowledge. Okay. Nurse. Legendary guitarist. Um, well, you can live. Guitar, music is important. Mobster. Mm hmm. Nope. You can live. Virologist. I'm reading this, guys. I can't be asked to read it out loud. But I'll do this one. Celtar is a grad student at a virology lab where they research folks on studying tuberculosis. They edit the tuberculosis genome, see how the changes affect bacteria. Stereo dreams are working in a faculty, a facility with proper ventilation. I like the Carolina. <laughs> hmm. What have we got so far? Uh, three live, two die. I need two more deaths. What's this one? Ezra is the Minister of a Farming, Agri and Aquaculture, appointed to the position by current cabinet for their past loyalty. Thing is, they've no idea how to run the ministry or any other, for that matter, as they've been keep getting political. Uh, no. Bye bye. Um. Bye bye. I'm doing this arbitrarily before anyone asks. There we go. He said every other profile has to die. I did it. I have the clown. Hey there. What you up to, killer? Uh, what now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? No. Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Okay. Grim. Reaper. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my name, so Nothing. what? Nothing. Believe it's for a good... It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. Uh-huh. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. Stun lose my attention here, guys. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I'm all ears, metaphorically speaking. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel Is most he gonna illustrious, write the Bible? one that will explain everything. Cool, can I read it? Certainly, once it is finished. You will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Excellent. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, the tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. The net. I just... I just... I... 
can't help but think Batten so. down the hatches. Tis a storm of sails. Blimey, we scoured nigh every inch for this calendar. Mm -hmm. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchantmen for it. Cause turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals work on any ear. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes, also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations and all the name days. <laughs> I finally procured it from an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Okay, whatever. That's in there, isn't it? End of the day. Spawn mail. Oh, look at this. You go there. Oh, buses and some eggs. Anyway, Prime Boss Gun down. Panic Roses, new super tuberculosis. Uh, oh dear. Keep it short. I suspect systematic biases in our ever balancing mythology. At least three humans coming from the facts have to die. The last three humans coming from the facts. Well, that would be that one, that one, and that one. Oh, what have we got? Right, so what have we got? Uh, Bury hanging their living expenses keep rising. They certainly can do great things with the art screen when they get around finishing it. Uh, only 23 she can live. Uh, to look like the, uh, no, you don't do random. No, you don't fake being a medical person. Oh, yeah, and you're an asshole. Retired. Uh, a few years ago, and felt they saved enough money. Recent outbreak of super tuberculosis there. So you can live. Seems to be alright. Yeah, they keep living. Oh, uh, okay. You sound like you're fed up. That is just a lot of people to, you know. A lot of people died today. Look, trees up. Oh, what have we got now? Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right. The daily. Ugh. Always in positions when I have important research to perform. Uh, let us get on with it. Yes, let's. I see more profiles than required. That, yes, that should suffice, I imagine. I ask you some more questions. Questions, questions Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Okay. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. Uh, oh, excuse me for two seconds. There we go. And um, three, two, one, back. Okay, so what do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. But what if it was extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. Well, that's depressing. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. That is an interesting review on it. Any other questions? 
Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. What if the afterlife is a dating game where you must charm strange monsters? <laughs> okay. Grim. That is just stupid. <laughs> it really is. You think mortals have some drive towards because death? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? They do seem willing to throw their lives away for stupid reasons. Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Again, my camera has just... What is it? Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Dum, dum, dum. Any other questions? Can language even deal with the concept of death? Unlikely. It doesn't seem an art from literature. I'm trying. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization, as humans feel the ever-present breath of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity carved into matter that might outlast the being <laughs> itself. And now I have the hiccups. At least until all matter ceases to be. Uh, one second. Mm. Um, Any day now. Sorry. Any other questions? Actually, I got nothing. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. I got nothing. Oh, hell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I have time for for this chapter of Death and Taxes. It has been wonderful to have you here. I have once again been your host, and I look forward to seeing you for the next chapter of Death and Taxes. And until then, stay safe, stay sane, and keep lively. But if you can't do any of that, just hang about, leave a comment in the chat. Until next time, bye bye.